Magic. How do you know him? I first, uh, I mean, I had my first contact. It was him. I believe that was December, November or December of 2006. He put an advertisement, uh, recruitment advertisement for a Chinese English translator yes. in one of the Chinese websites of Toronto. Um, I saw that adver advertisement, so I submitted an application. He called me in for an interview. And the interview actually took place in his home at uh, Robinta, the 19 Robinta Drive. Um, that's just how I met him for the first time. Okay, thank you. <coughs> now, after the interview, what happened? Well, he, well, when I went to the interview, I was expecting an office type of job. Um, but when I actually met him, he told me that he hadn't got an office yet. He was primarily operating his business in his home. And he didn't need an interpreter or translator to you know, work side by side with him. He was expecting to have a translator to translate his book, which he showed me during the interview. And so basically, this is a um, freelance type of job, right? I do, his, do the translation of his book uh, in my own home. And I get just paid for doing the book. OK. So um, after the interview, he agreed to let me translate his book. So I just did the complete translation from my own home, on my own computer. Okay. Just uh, want to keep the tape running. Um, you brought up the book. 